Welcome back, and for the second half of this week, you can see that uh, Jeff has bonded in these uh, brackets that hold the uh, nose gear strut in place. So, and with a couple of just clicos just holding them there while uh, the high sole cures. And as you can see here, there's a rod, half inch rod running through the keel there that's holding everything in the perfect alignment there. And uh, here's these uh, plugs that um, were milled there in the foam for the brackets that hold the um, the side sticks in place on the inside of the fuselage left and right so those ones were just done with a ball mill and so as you can see there they're ready to have some uh, fiberglass put on them and we picked up our stuff from the powder coat and so here's the engine mount all nice and uh, gloss black now in powder coat and uh, still didn't bother unwrapping it really because it's pointless until we get the engine back now from the dyno which is still going to be a little while by the sounds of things and uh, I went over to Brits um, on Thursday and he's welding up um, all the different pieces that make up the um, brackets for holding all the instrument panel and all the different structure around that that you've been seeing in the CAD recently and so there was a bunch of different pieces that he needed to do there and it's all cut out of uh, 61 so 6061 aluminum and uh, you know I did that on Wednesday got all those pieces of cut when when the materials uh, came in from spruce so uh, and just sort of you know stayed with him while he was doing all that just to make sure everything was done right although did end up making uh, one little mistake with something but nothing um, that really is a problem going forward and uh, then after that and uh, as you'll see here in a little bit we also uh, well Brit also cut and um, bent some aluminum pieces that make up um, the fixture that holds the um, the various um, LIUs in place. So here he is cutting some one inch strips um, and this is out of 16th inch thick uh, 6061 aluminum. So that took quite a few hours to get all that done but it was good to knock it all out just in uh, in one you know basically morning into early afternoon. So here it is actually there's two different pieces there just sitting together right now um, and the rest of it's all sort of welded together so those two pieces they're just sitting there and balancing right now um, and then you've got these two brackets there that are going to hold the cables that are cross over from that um, from where the main uh, instruments are all um, bolted on over to the forward bulkhead and then these are the little brackets there that are going to hold the things in the stack that, that the LIUs are where I've got four in one stack and there's the throttle control and you'll see more of that in a minute and this is kind of the big flat plate there that's going to have um, all the different um, units uh, bolted to it uh, or fixed to it and so that's just sitting there and as you'll see in a second boom <laughs> told you it was just sitting there uh, anyway so that basically needs to be fit into um, the fuselage now and uh, next up you see these are the brackets uh, that hold the ends of the parachute strap in place on the forward bulkhead so they came back from powder coat and uh, Jeff's got a couple of bolts sort of just aligning these, drilled the holes and stuff for them, but there still needs a little bit of extra layup on those, on the bulkheads there just to reinforce that. And there you can see now the nose gear leg is also sitting in place there. And back on the machine, um, milling those ones for the side brackets, um, for the side sticks, and uh, just ball milling the whole thing. So that one went uh, overnight on uh, Thursday, and then the second one got done um, on Friday. So here they are, both of them done, and, and Zach's already been uh, sanding on both of those, so it won't be long, and those will be ready to be primed, and uh, we'll be able to create those brackets really quickly. And uh, meanwhile, Devin's been working on uh, getting this one done, and uh, the other two as well from uh, last week. And see, this one's already uh, been waxed up and ready to go, so we can lay up that box again for the aileron uh, control and uh, over here he's got the one that is the add-on for the f uh, firewall that allows us to fit the parachute in so that one's already got a couple of layers of wax on there and here's the throttle and I've I put those um, handles on there unfortunately it seems like it just, uh, they don't fit so well um, so I'm going to re-machine or re-print uh, those on the 3D printer and here's I've already done one of them and this one actually fits better um, I just allowed more room for the aluminum to fit in there um, and then, then there's the other one that was on there but anyway so I'm going to redo those and uh, make them fit better and so here it is now we've got the actual uh, wheel on and it's just fit there's only just two bolts holding it into place right now because we still have to have those brackets and stuff for the tow bar uh, but anyway just you know heading in the direction of getting this thing up on the gear 
And uh, in respect to that, Jeff got these two brackets uh, bonded in place today. So there's a, just a single Clico hold on those, but they're basically um, bonded onto the main spar now. So they're the ones that hold the hydraulic struts that hold the gear. And as you can see, I've got the uh, most of the stuff for the panel now fit in the front of the aircraft there. So the glare shield on the top there and the lower parts of the dash and the all the different aluminum pieces that you just saw before. Um, so it's all sort of fitting fairly nicely in there. It's just sort of sitting there. There's a few, a couple of clamps holding it uh, in there. And actually that's basically all a couple of clamps holding all that together. And it's actually pretty solid right now. Um, but you know, there's more to come. And as you see, that's the view that you'll have sort of sitting in the pilot seat there looking through the window. And obviously there's the vis queen in the way, so it doesn't really help you much to see what it's going to look like. But uh, it feels super spacious in there. I actually set some foam on the floor and sat in it just to get the feel. And uh, yeah, it feels really cool. It's super wide and uh, very spacious. And here's the view from the other side just a little bit later. And I also now have put in this um, extra L bracket there um, that spans the full width of the cabin there. And that's going to help uh, brace the whole thing there. And as you can see from here, there it is there just sort of clamped into place. And we're going to be doing a wet layup there uh, where that bonds up to um, the side frames there of the doors and uh, that'll make that super secure and uh, just support everything so uh, yeah it's things are coming out nicely with that and it didn't take really long to get all that in place and as you can see here that the actual aircraft is now sitting on the legs there they're locked into place with the over center mechanism on the retraction arms there and that was uh, Jeff wanted to have that while he bonded those brackets into place so as you can see that's sitting out of the jig and it's actually sitting on its legs right now in the back and then the front there's just a little bit of foam there so as you probably gather we're getting close to getting this thing up on the gear and we're actually now our goal is to try and get it up on the gear by uh, next friday and if that's the case our open open house will be the weekend uh, four weeks after that which is i think the 20th or something um, of october so stay tuned for that anyway that's our update for uh, this week and thanks again for watching